Hi everyone, this is my ever new tutorial for my new ever tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna talk about, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a sippy arrow. This arrow like this, like this one. This is our arrow. Um, in most situations, you need an arrow to work on, on a path like this, a path like this. So, uh, simply, uh, at the beginning, uh, you need to be familiar with uh, with at least uh, basic modifiers or something in Max uh, or in Maya. We all know how to make a, a simple arrow working on a path on a path uh, like this, not steady, like this, this, this. So simply, if we need to make this arrow moves on this bot, follows it, we add a bot deform modifier, a world space modifier. There are the two. Uh, there are two types of this. There are uh, bot deform, bot deform only, and bot deform. Sorry, bot deform world space modifier. For some reason, uh, the other one doesn't work nice so we're using this and we make big bot move to bot use the axis that moves and that's it Oops. just make a flip see the head here I don't know if I'm talking so quick uh, so quickly so sorry but please try to keep with me because as I said this is my first time to make any tutorial and my English is not that good, so please be patient. Just follow the cursor and <laughs> don't listen to me if you want. Oh, now it's simply moving. No problem. Look, it's here, here. We move here. It's moving and no problem at all. Okay. If we needed this to move, on this bot, okay, just take this one, take this bot and move to bot, yes, look at the edges, how it looks, because if you created any amount of divisions, I'm sorry, yes, any amount of divisions, it, it will still like flicker, jump like this, this is course not acceptable and even if it doesn't appear here from some angles it will appear and, and render reflections and stuff in these places <coughs> so this uh, this approach I, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain I discovered when I was working uh, working in a title for a news channel I was a director and the director wanted and the logo for the channel was uh, basically uh, an arrow so the director wanted the whole concept to be about arrows for all the, the titles. So uh, let's just um, delete this, move this here, and this is our steppy bot, and this is our arrow. Let's at first look how we make this arrow work. Uh, of course, uh, I've um, I've searched for for anyone who, who, who done this or did this before so uh, I couldn't find anyone so I said uh, why don't I make a tutorial to show you how to make it um, shortly and please so this is a bot I, I've made a shortcut for showing results here like this to easily see the the end result for, for what I'm working in because we're working on layers modifiers and layers and you'll see how. This is showing the result. I've made a shortcut for it. We've created a box, symbol box with uh, 200, let's say, uh, subdivision and length. We've put it as uh, edit body modifier here, just and uh, just to add this chamfer look to edges. If you, it's just chamfer for the look and render. Finally, 
And then we add a slice modifier here. Okay. Add a slice modifier here. And then we make a, an edit poly modifier here to create an app. Let's turn it off or just delete it and make it because this this word is uh, very important. Let's make an edit poly modifier. Okay. We want to, to make a, a the arrow's head or arrow's tip. We choose this selection. Okay, not not edges, not vertices, not polygons, not any just just border. Why just border is working in, in our method? Because when you use slice modifier and animate it, we were gonna am animate from this slice modifier. Okay, this slice modifier. Let's say we're gonna be here at first, then we're gonna be here at this frame. But never, never go to the end of the of the box. Just leave it open again, like this. See, not not this. Don't go this far, ever. Just always keep keep a hole in, in the object. And then in this modifier, we're gonna select this border. Why this border? Because we're gonna create the arrow's head from this border. And if you're familiar with slice and uh, object delete mesh and these modifiers and, and 3D Studio Max, uh, these objects changes the mesh when the animation changes. That means in this frame, uh, let's say there are uh, 1,000 vert vertices. In this frame, we have 1,100 vertices. I don't know if if, uh, if you got it or not, but, but it means that mesh changes and the body count change. Let's let's select all here. Select all. There are 4,227, uh, 72. Sorry. In this frame, there are 400. See, but in th in the case of uh, border, it's only one border. It's always one border. When we select it and scrub the timeline, it's it's kept selected. You know, you see. Yes. So we're gonna create our tab from this border not from polygon not from vertex not from edge let's make extrude not, not let's make scale and let's be on parent space like this let's say like this let's say okay let's do this 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 we're making it uh, roughly so don't you know, you can add any detail you want we just For the sake of illustration, I'm, I'm just showing you. And let's make a cape, and this is our beautiful. Yeah, look, when I'm walking like that, when we scrub the timeline, the arrow's head is here. Look, just let's just you know give this back. No, it's not work. See this? I, I don't want to see this. So you can modify it anyway. I, I'm gonna show you the end result when we assemble from the finishing, from the finished project after we finish. So uh, this is our arrow. Okay, nice. But it's not on a bot. It's it's walking straight or it's moving straight. Okay. We were gonna. Select bot deform modifier world space modifier as we did before. Bot deform modifier world space. Let's select this. Let's move to bar and let's select the axis. Let's flip. Let's see the result. Sorry. Let's just increase that and stretch it to see the result view. Okay. Mm, here, 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 here. Look, look here. Well, nice. It's not 
flickering anymore so because we're making the animation on, on the slice modifier in fact we're, we're, all the animation is here it's not here here we just mention the bar we're making the animation here and we see in the end result no flickering but still still this ugly intersections so we may put an edit modifier above the all and, and edit the seeds manually but unfortunately this bot deform bending world space doesn't accept any modifier to be above it so after we create this we just remove this unnecessary edit body modifier we may keep this as a reference for us for timing and, and create the final timing create the final movement for the arrow and create another one say box final and just we won't use this body form bending modifier world space we will use the standard body form modifier and bit path and unfortunately too it's not look 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 we uh, there is no button like this which uh, says move to bot so you need to to move it manually like this let's say where the start is here let's try to pivot let's select the pivot point here Okay, let's let's just uh, align it manually and drop the. We just finished this today. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the way, and you you can bleed it. Okay, let's. This is the beginning. Okay, and this. This is okay. War looking. Um, this is this uh, match. We are gonna make. We are. You see, this is from here it's not match yet needs to go down like this and just um, you know. as you see we're matching it uh, manually okay let's uh, let's see how it looks oh we need to make flip first oh flip flips everything <laughs> flip flips everything including the bar so we can make world Okay, just just like this, like this, like this, and make this this okay. Okay, this and this. Okay, beautiful. Now, why why in the in the in the world we do this? We have this beautiful but before I'm bending world space modifier that moves to bot automatically why why this let's just hide this one this old one let's just stretch this a little bit to see the result and let's okay 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 that's exa exactly what we need now we still have this ugly let's just save this ugly intersections you see okay this this ugly intersections here now we can add edit body modifier here and we simply just go to edge here, edge constraint, and select all and move in screen world space. Let's skip this here. I'm oh, sorry. Skip this and this and this and this. Now we finished. We're just making modification for Okay, let's, let's have this, let's just, yeah, make this one, and this, okay, this and this, let's extend this to go here, and by eye, or maybe you can make a reference for, to guarantee that this edge and this edge are making a, a perfect 90 degree uh, angle. Now we're making it roughly like this. okay mm. this will apply this approach will apply to all these angles okay 
Now let's scrub the timeline and see. Beautiful. It's not flickering. Doesn't have any bad intersections like this. This is beautiful. Still one thing. The arrow moves it you know, in an ugly way, you see. And this angles. The arrow's tip, I mean. So, in this arrows we can I used to make a key here. Okay, let's go on local choose what it's go to slice, I mean slice it's hit the modifier which we really moves the whole thing from it. Okay, let's just add a key here. And let's snap key here after we remove from this. Look. Okay. No one will notice this. Usually you're working fast on this movement. At least this is the approach <laughs> I discovered. So I I had a terrible moment trying to solve this problem to make this this approach work. And I'm gonna show you sample from the final image. Look at this. This is the final one. Look, you see this? And this, this, it's moving, and, and the words with the time remaining or slow motion are, are in straight lines like this. So, ooh, ooh, that's it. I hope you find this tutorial uh, useful. <coughs> Thank you for listening and and your patience for for my my weak English. <laughs> bye bye.